Hello everyone, welcome back to Salar Khan YouTube channel. In the previous video, we saw the introduction to power factor. I hope the idea of the power factor is clear in good terms, right? Yes. You have any doubts, you have any questions, the comment section is for you guys. Right, yes. Let us have an example, a simpler example to start off with. So, example number one, I would just write over here the question first. Not the question, the data. I'll read out it, the question. A three phase, 200 kVA. A three phase, 200 kVA. 11 kilovolts to 400 volts. 11 kilovolts to 400 volts. 50 hertz. 50 hertz. Delta to star transformer. Delta to star transformer. In a distribution system, supplies the following single phase loads. So the following single phase load. So the first are given phase red. So for phase red, I would write what the power red to neutral. I would write F. This is for phase red. This is 40 kilowatts at this is 40 kilowatts at what? This is 40 kilowatts and the power factor is given 0.8 leading at 0.8 leading power factor. Then for phase yellow, for phase yellow this is 25, uh, this is 5 kilowatts. So for phase yellow I would write it like this, phase power yellow to neutral. This is 5 kilowatts and this is at what power factor? At unity power factor, yes, at unity power factor. And then finally, the third is for blue phase. For, for blue phase, what have I got is 20 kilowatts at 0.8 lagging power factor. 20 kilowatts at 0 0.8 lagging power factor. Calculate the overall power factor and the transformer required, rating required. Overall power factor. and the transformer rating required so these are the two unknowns over here now you've got what this is a three phase system is given so generally our power distribution system is a three phase distribution system is three phase but most of the consumer are single phase right so that is why three phase distribution system and then you've got single phase loads mentioned over here right yes so basically what we have is the ht side is delta and the lt side is star connected right yes delta to star connected it is shown so which means that you have delta on the ht side and you have a star on the lt side the phases are red yellow blue neutral neutral is the is the the, the the lower most right why is the neutral so this is carries the unbalance if there is an unbalance in the system so it it is the neutral if the neutral cuts what happens is that the voltage significantly rises in one phase drops in the other phase so there is an unbalance so neutral is very important right yes so the transformer required is unknown so the transformer rating i told you we have to do on the basis of what we have to do on the basis of s the apparent power so the overall s is unknown so if i just try to over here is if i draw from the power triangle let's say if let's say i draw it in this way if this was the q this was my p and this is my s and this is my phi right so what do i have cause of phi is what p by s curly brown hair yes sign of phi is what some people have q by s and then through proper brushing tangent of phi is what proper brushing is q by p so have a look from here i could just try to over here so first of all cause of phi is given cause of phi is given 
because of phi is given so which means what that i could just write s i need s for all right i need s for all let's say i also find q for all so s for red s for red first of all would be what s i could say from p divided by cos of phi p red divided by the cos of phi so which means the p red is what it is 40 kilowatts divided by cos of phi is 0.8 so this comes out to be what no this is 40 kilowatts this is 10 kilowatts this is 10 kilowatts this is 10 kilowatts so this is 10 kilowatts this comes out to be 12.5 and this would be in kv is right yes now q for r would be what q for r q for r would be uh, q is s times sine of phi q is s times sine of phi so s is 12.5 and sine of phi for this angle would be 0.6 and this comes out to be 7.5 kvars 7.5 kvars and for this you have to write leading or lagging so this is leading or you could also say a minus j 7.5 you could also say minus j 7.5 so you could say leading or you could say capacitive capacitive with the kvars right capacitive with the kvars right capacitive with the power factor right lagging leading both are the same both are the same this is a good representation right yes so this is s p and q and cos of phi for p for r is done now you have what for the yellow phase so s for the yellow would be what p for the yellow divided by cos of phi so p for yellow is what is 5 and cos of phi is 1 so this is 5 kvas similarly then q for the yellow would be what it would be 5 multiplied by sine of phi would be 0 so which means q for y is 0 right q for y is 0 then what do you have then what do you have is that for blue so for blue what do you have s b would be p for b divided by the cos of phi for b so this comes out to be what this is 20 divided by 0 0.8 this is what do check the calculations it's 25 and then the q for the blue phase would be 25 multiply 0 0.6 and this comes out to be 15 kvars 15 kvars uh, lagging power factor so which means this is inductive l or you could also say this is a plus j 15 plus j 15 right yes fine so what do you have is over here for the transformer rating what do you require you require the s and for s what do you require you require p and q s is equal to we already know that this is equal to p squared plus q squared and this would be under the root so which means that my p total for this now you need the p total so which means red plus yellow plus blue 10 plus 5 plus 20 10 plus 5 plus 20 is 35 are the total kilowatts and you also require the q total this s individual i found out to find my individual q right yes you don't have to add these directly up right this is not as simple as it is so q total would be now what it is a negative j 7.5 plus 0 plus j 15 so this comes out to be plus j 7.5 plus for inductive minus for capacitive so have a look put it in this formula s is equal to what is 35 squared plus 7.5 squared under the root and which mean now this would give you the rating of the transformer required and this is 35.8 35.8 kvs so 35.8 are the kvs required so what would you prefer over here i would just say use a 50 kva transformer and the overall power factor the overall power factor would be what overall power factor so i would just write it over here 
power factor would be the overall kilowatts which means the p total divided by the s total so which means p total is 35 divided by the s total is kvas are 35.8 and the overall power factor is 0 0.98 0 0.98 now this is a very good loading condition an excellent loading condition but before that I told you to write a lagging or a leading with the power factor. What would I write with this? So I would write a lagging. I would write a lagging power factor with this. Why? Because my overall Q, my this would depend on the overall Q. So my overall Q is plus J7.5, which means this is overall inductive. So plus J7.5 means this is inductive load, which means this is a lagging power factor. The overall power factor, overall power factor lagging or leading would depend on the overall QT. Now this is an excellent loading condition. Why? Because the transformer rating and the actual load on this is approximately equal. So the greater the power factor, the greater is the utilization of the equipment rating. Which means on 35.8 you are utilizing 35, only 0.8 is getting lost. Whereas if this you could say for instance this is 0.9, so then what would happen is that this would be let's say 35.6. So maybe 0.6 is being lost, right? So this is an excellent loading condition. Let's say we repeat the same example for PRN when cause of phi becomes 0.8 lagging. Let's say, let's say this was 1. Let's say this was example one. In the second case, what do I do is the same thing I'm repeating, but P, the red phase load is the same 10 kilowatts, but this is now at 0.8 lagging power factor. So this is also at 0.8 lagging power factor. So have a look, what would be the overall effect of this? So have a look, have a look. SR would be the same, you know. 10 by 0.8 would be 12.5 the same the same qr would be the same 7.5 but but this 7.5 would be now inductive l or this would be plus j 7.5 why because i have the lagging power factor previously i had the leading power factor with this so only this is the difference. Only this is the difference. S, Y, Q, Y, S, B, Q, B would be the same. S, Y would be the same as 5 kVA. Q, Y would be the same as 0. S, B would be the same as 25 kVAs. 25 kVAs. Q, B would be the same 15 kVARs. 15 kVARs inductive or plus j15 so now what do you have now i i say what my p total my p total would be again the same p total would be again the same 35 kilowatts and my q total would not change so total q would change 7.5 plus 15 plus 0 7.5 plus 0 plus 15 so this would be what 15 22.5 now have a look and 22.5 is with a plus j with a plus j so this means what that this is 22.5 kvars inductive overall it is inductive so my transformer rating would require would be now on basis of 35 squared plus 22.5 squared under the root what does this come out to be what does this come out to be this comes out to be 41.6 kvs let me do this let me just confirm this i am just a little not sure about this i will just confirm it so uh, wait under the root 35 squared uh, 35 squared plus 22.5 squared this is 41.6 right yes so 41.6 kvas 
again you would say the same 50 kva transformer would be good but have a look you can think of a, a little bit of an overloading over here over here you've got a greater difference but over there you don't the overall power factor the overall power factor would be what it would be 35 divided by 41.6 have a look this time you have deteriorated it 35 divided by 41 0.6 so the power factor has came to 0.84 now this is a good power factor again this is a good power factor but it is not good over here it was an excellent power factor this one was an excellent power factor i hope the spelling is right but this one i would say is a good power factor not bad not bad this one is good up to 0.8 it's fine 0.9 and above it's excellent 0.7 and below then then you could say this is on the poor side over here what would you write with this the overall power factor is again lagging why because the overall q the reactive wars are again inductive or with a plus j so have a look over here from the 41.6 kva rating you are utilizing 35 watts so 41.6 is the rating and the loading you can do is 35 why because the power factor has reduced but if you improve the power factor to 0.98 so on so for the 35 kilowatt loading now you require a 35.8 kvs whereas over here for the same 35 kilowatt loading you require a 41.6 kvs why because the power factor has reduced right yes so the more the power factor the good it is the good the quality of energy it is right yes so i hope it is clear i hope it is clear you find overall p you find overall q and then s is equal to p squared plus q squared under the root you have the power triangle p is the base q is the perpendicular s is the hypotenuse the overall power factor is the p total upon the s total right yes transformer rating should be a little more than that right so i believe i finished this video over here with power factor lagging or leading is must similarly with q lagging or lagging kvars or inductive or capacitive kvars yes yes i finish this one see you in the next video very soon inshallah till then take care of yourselves everyone around you do remember many prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye